Hi, my name is Vivian Zhang. I'm a assistant professor in the Department of Preventive Medicine and Public Health at Creighton University. Today, I'd like to show you an iPad game released by CDC, the nation's health protection agency. The game is called Solve the Outbreak. The game is so informative and interesting that I'd like to make a whole video about it. These arbors are flashing. Let me tap the middle one. This is a case of the conference blues. 37 people were sick, 5 were hospitalized, and 1 died. 5 states in US were affected. I wonder what's going on, and I want to start solving the outbreak. Your mission? Is it a mission? Yeah, solving an outbreak and saving lives are very important. So it's a mission. Let's browse the text. The Georgia State Veterinary Conference just ended. Dozens of people got sick at the conference. That's very bad. I'm going to skip the, the following words because I do not want you to get bored. Feel free to pause the video to read the skipped part. Now I accept this mission and continue. Clue 1 First, let's take a look at the layout. There are a text description with words highlighted in yellow, a picture where people are sitting together at a conference, and a question on the bottom. The question is, when were the conference attendees exposed to something that made them sick? It's a very good question, but I have no clues. Let me tap the highlighted words to find the useful information. The data page shows up. Let's browse the description. It's great to know that 10 out of 15 sick people were successfully interviewed. Let's look at the graph. It's about activities that the people who are sick participate in. The first label on the y-axis is attended tour of vet clinic. The number besides the first rectangle is 4. I think it means among the 10 interviewed sick people, 4 participate in the tour of vet clinic. Likewise, 6 participate in the opening session, 6 participate in the breakfast reception, and 10 participate in the welcome party. Wow! All of the interviewed sick people had participated in the welcome party. Could something be wrong at the welcome party? Let's keep the idea in mind. The last rectangle shows that 8 stayed in conference hotel. Okay, let's go back to the question. When were the conference attendees exposed to something that made them sick? All of the interviewed sick people participate in the welcome party. I think the answer should be at the welcome party. Oh, it says that you are a party animal. You earned 100 points for this question. Sounds great. It's a very good start, isn't it? Let me take the next clue. Clue 2. There are also a text description, a picture, and a question on the bottom. The question is, what do you think is the likely source of the outbreak? Chicken tenders, spillage dip, or more than one of the food items? Good question. Let me take a look at the data. Here is a graph. The title is the number of people sick based on when symptoms first appeared. The x-axis is the data. The y-axis is the number of people sick. 
It's interesting that nobody got sick at the welcome party. People got sick after the party. I remember we hypothesized that it was at the welcome party that sick people were exposed to something that made them sick. But the data shows that nobody was sick at the welcome party. Is our hypothesis wrong? Actually, it doesn't mean our hypothesis is wrong. There might be the incubation period, the time period from the receipt of infection to the onset of the symptoms. The data help us to see the number of sick people over time. However, our question is regarding the food and the source of the outbreak. The data didn't directly help us answer the question. Let me open the cases folder. Hope it contains what we are looking for. Here is the formula of the attack rate for the food items. The denominator is the total number of people who ate a food item. The numerator is the number of people who ate a food item and are sick. So the numerator is part of the denominator. The attack rate described in the formula is the proportion of sick people among the persons who ate the food item. Let's take a look at the table. It's about food-specific attack rates. The column names are the number of people who ate an item and the number of people who did not eat an item. We want to compare the attack rates between the two groups for each food item listed in the table. If the attack rate of a food item in the first group were higher, the food item would be suspicious. In this table, the attack rates of vegan lasagna and split dip are larger in the first group. Therefore, I think vegan lasagna and split dip are suspicious. So, the answer to the question of what do you think is the likely source of the outbreak is the third one, more than one of the food items. Since both veggie lasagna and the spleech dip were suspicious. You are a rock star. Thanks. I really tried hard to answer this question. Thanks for watching. In this video, we found that it was at the welcome party that some people got infected. And the vegan lasagna and the spleech dip were suspicious. Come back next time to solve the outbreak with me. See you later.